we've come up with with these are just writing up the equations. Here's the key, folks. Your family starts bed and breakfast in your home. You spend $500 fixing up a bedroom to rent. Your cost for food and utilities, $10 per night. So that right there is an equation. Your family charges $60 a night to rent the bedroom. How many nights must your family rent the room in order to break even where cost equals income? Well, they tell you. Okay, it is it is a form of a system of equation and you're just getting a little freaked out by it because it's not written in a perfect systems way. Okay, cost equals income. It's $500 to fix up the bedroom plus $10 per night. $500 for just to fix up the bedroom plus $10 a night for food, utilities, all that kind of crap. And it equals... You don't know. You don't know how much you're going to make or you have to pay. Okay. You don't know what that cost is yet. Yeah, you should. If you're going to be a business owner, you better know that dang cost. But for this problem, you're renting out your room. Okay. The other one says that it charges or you charge $60 per night. And they want to know when they equal each other. When will the money that you make equal the money that you spent, okay? When will 500 plus $10 a night equal $60 a night, okay? Subtract the 10x, gone, minus 10x. 500 is equal to 50x. Now, uh, I think it was Ben. I'm not going to throw Ben under the bus, but he caught me making... Addition errors, I think it was Ben that caught me on the last one where I said uh, uh, it was like 511 for guests at the party. Thanks, Ben, for catching me not knowing how to subtract right. Yeah, you were right. It is 491. And I did the right subtraction here. I'm pretty sure, certain 60 minus 10 is 50. Okay, so divide by 50, gone, divide by 50, and it should turn into... 10 nights, 10 nights. That's how long it's going to take. 10 nights for you to break even where your cost will equal your uh, charging. Now, how do we test that? Just like every other problem when you have a system, let me put up another board. Just like every other one, when it tells you 500 plus 10X is equal to Y, it's essentially telling you it's equal to 60x. It's called a substitution. You're taking this chunk and putting it in for what it's telling you y is. It's telling you y is equal to 60x. Or you could say y is equal to 500 plus 10x. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Okay. We solved this already. We know that x is 10. So let's change the 10 or x into a 10. 60 times 10 is 600. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 plus 500. Oh, sorry. Ben, you almost got me again there. Uh, is 600. 600 equals 600. That is the cost pay whatever 10 nights. That's when you're making money. After 10 nights of renting out your room, Ben, because your parents are going to do that now because they're kicking you out for catching me making math errors. Um, they're going to rent away your room at uh, 60 bucks a night and... After 10 nights, they're making money. So that's why people have bed and breakfast. You do the same thing when they're doing a lot of these problems, when they're comparing two different costs and they're ending up, where does it break even? What's the, what are you looking for? That's all you do. Makes it a lot easier. If you have any questions, thanks for asking them. Uh, I'll be back a little bit later with a video for you for tomorrow. And the test will be posted tomorrow.